So we have two caravels roaming the Atlantic Ocean right now, and we're going to discover all the sieves in both North and South America, as well as we need to prepare and kind of get some, some insight on what's going on with Maria, because that Portuguese war is going to start off, I think, in this video. As well as, luckily, you know, we kind of, you know, I don't know, threw some steroids at our economy, and uh, we're pumping out a lot of gold right now. We've got another five turns at, at producing, I'm guessing, around 80 gold per turn. We already have 1,200 in our stock, you know, in our in our stockpile as a whole, and uh, we're, we're looking pretty good. Uh, so I'm I'm excited to see exactly what's going to happen in four turns, how many ship of the lines we can get out, and uh, and how big our navy is going to look uh, by the end of maybe 10 turns. I, I'm hoping that it's it's already going to be uh, not massive. It won't be anywhere near ideal uh, for like a, a world domination, but you know I'm hoping it's going to be pretty big. Anyways, let's uh, let's go to the next turn. We're about to take over Berlin. I've got a fresh pikeman here ready to go, uh, and we're going to fix my happiness. I believe, I believe my happiness is, happiness is going to get fixed. No, I don't want Byzantium to send over their boats, uh, moving through my territory. You know, discovering all these other civs. I'd rather not have that happen okay good we found the shoshone and you have salt and copper now i have no luxury resources to trade with you just yet but we will very soon uh, i'm building work boats i'm finishing up roads but uh after we finish up the roads i'm gonna fix some of the tiles that we have had plundered i don't know if it was us that did the plundering or if it was another sieve i can't remember it doesn't matter uh wait a second where oh you're destroying this it's this dude right here well that's fine you it's a fishing boat i don't care as much about the the fishing boats, as I do uh, kind of the whaling boats, if that's what you want to call them. Okay, so we found the coast. I think this is Florida, which Philadelphia is in Florida right now. Uh, here are the Mayans. The Mayans don't have any extra luxuries, but the Shoshone do. I'm imagining now, usually, if, if you remember back a long time ago when I did an AI-only world battle, uh, I remember the most dominant New World Civ was the Shoshone because luckily they, were, they started off in an area uh, that was just really, really open. I'm, I imagine that more than likely that that same thing happens. Uh, so they have a lot of cities, which you know is the result to why they have so many luxury resources. Um, but we will see. So it looks like Portugal really has no navy at all, which is excellent. Uh, let's finish off the road. And uh, the pikeman needs to prepare itself. So at any point I can land on those dies, which is great. Uh, but for now I will keep you there because we're not ready to, to move in just yet. Probably in maybe another turn or so. Maybe maybe one more turn. Again, all these long bowmen now have logistics, which is great. Yeah, I don't think we're I don't think we're there just yet. We need to wait two more turns, which is fine with me. That's that's fine. Finished up with a harbor in London, which is good. That's gonna connect uh, London to the New World. Or I'm sorry, to the to continental England, I guess now. Uh, after we of course finish up the road system. We are how long away from we're three turns away from navigation, okay. I mean, I guess I could just quickly... I could build one... No, no, because that's just going to be upgraded to a ship of the line. I mean, I guess I'll be still producing hammers. I could build a workboat as well to get over towards this whale resource. Um, we still have this whale resource, but I think we're, we're trading one at least. I guess we will... Yeah, let's go ahead and go with one here. This is ultimately going to change over the ship of the line, but it's just—it's still going to eat away at at the turns that it costs, at the at the turns that it takes to to build. So if we could get like three ship of the lines, like like a turn or two after we get navigation, that would be excellent. Because remember, we're behind in technology. That's the one thing that I that, that I'm worried about. Everything else, like we're looking like we're going to have a successful campaign, but no, we're actually really behind in technology. So so I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, Windmill, I, I, w I would like a windmill, but uh, I guess you build a workboat since you're right here too. We'll have Amsterdam build something else afterwards. Uh, you could also build a workboat in one turn, but that's just going to be for the fish resources, and I don't really care about those. I'm not really trying to make like my city super optimal or anything like that. I just want to be able to survive. A lighthouse is a good idea. Actually, that's an excellent idea. So build a lighthouse in two turns for the extra happiness. And you could build, you should probably build a monument. I know that the shrine, I believe, from Catholicism is eventually going to give us an extra happiness, so maybe we should have him build that. Let me just make sure. Let's go into London, go to shrine, and see if it's offering us. Yes, it is happiness. So that is, of course, only until Amsterdam gets Catholicism. Um, right now, it is competing with another religion, but more than likely, uh, Catholicism will win out here. So we'll build the shrine in anticipation for that. Take that boat down. 
You finish up this road. Okay, let's be careful. This guy still has not been taken over. Oh, I guess we can... Uh, he doesn't have very much... Vi I'm going to be risky. I'm just going to plop it down. Let's go ahead and do it. Bam. Pop that sucker down. And uh, also, let's go back to the Shoshone. Hey, buddy. What's going on, Shoshone? If you're like this big, vast empire that I think you might be, then I'm going to want to be friends with you. So, good. I can trade him whales. For what do we really want? Do we want copper, salt, any of those? Oh, good. And we found a uh, natural wonder. That's that's amazing. I mean, that's another reason why they're so successful. So we want crabs, dyes, salts. Oh, okay. There's a few cities that want salt. Perfect. So we'll go after the salt. So whales, salt, thank you. Eventually, now I could always use my economy to fix the happiness as well. Uh, because I, I am, you know, I could always buy off that copper. But let's try not to do that just yet. Because I, I believe that we should be able to have enough luxury resources to trade with the world. Uh, I'm sure the World Congress should be coming soon, too, which means that we're going to be forced to meet everybody, which will be awesome. Okay, you're going to stay there. And uh, that is it. Let's go to the next turn. Luckily, the uh, Austrian Open Borders Agreement did not come to bite me in the ass. That's great. No extra luxuries for Brazil, which is fine. And there we go. Yes, let's get this started. Thank you very much. I think that's an excellent idea. Oh, where'd that denouncement come from? And no, no open borders. So this is good, but, you know, one thing that I noticed is that, you know, Washington's not really sending over much of a, of a navy. No, no open borders. I'm going to be very stingy with that. I'll give, of course, embassies, but no open borders. Um, yeah, no, I haven't seen much from Washington in terms of their navy. I, I, there might be, I mean, this is ultimately why the war, I think, was declared, was Chicago and Braga was, were maybe some border friction occurred there. And that's why I think Washington was not having it. Nothing from Morocco either. How many cities do you have, Morocco? Only three. So you're very small in northwest Africa. Figured sometimes Morocco gets massive, but I guess this is not the time. Oh, oh, oh gosh. I forgot that the Portuguese have their unique boat, uh, and this is the time that they're going to be really useful. This will be interesting, having our ship of the lines versus their unique unit. Uh, the Inca already... Wait, did the Inca declare war? I don't remember when the Inca declared war. Anyways, we got salt, so uh, they love the king which is very nice. There is our boats. And uh, I guess Harbor for Happiness, right? Let's go ahead and do a Harbor for Happiness. Oh, wow, we've got, this is great. We've already got six right now, so we should be able to integrate Berlin. Berlin's at 20 pops, so that's going to be scary. Uh, that's that's a lot. And let's go naval units here. I'm sure there's going to be a, a, a massive, there's going to be massive navies that I'm going to have to fight with these ship of the lines. So uh, let's keep them... I mean, I want to keep them kind of close to the front line. If I can get you here, that'd be perfect. And then we'll upgrade you, and you're already kind of close to the, uh, to the, to the battle. It would be like nice to get open borders, I guess, with the Mayans, so I can see what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, let's go ahead and move up north, actually. And I, I mean, I can move away from the borders a little bit. I, we're still a few turns away from having to worry about uh, the Portuguese. We we don't even have a navy just yet. I don't think they're going to send anything after me. Kill it. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, we're going to have to engage them in a few turns. I can send my caravels around to explore a little bit longer until we need them for that melee unit uh, out there in the seas. All right, so bam, bam. This should be it. Uh, I really hope that Rome is not at war. Well, it doesn't matter if they're at war. They don't have any melee units nearby, which I will. Uh, you still don't. You, you still are so close to that extra upgrade. You're getting that experience, which is great. Here's where most of our damage gets done. Bam. All right, so next turn, that city will be ours. Uh, I'll even move in another pikeman. Maybe maybe even if an, uh, maybe an AI wants to come in and try to steal it away, at least I'm blocking another tile. I'd like to not pillage the dies because that's ultimately going to be my dies one day. Destroy you. Now, I will not be destroying Germany completely, and that's that's positive. They're still going to have Cologne in Scandinavia, which is excellent. So I don't have to take like the massive diplomatic hit uh, for destroying Germany. I believe Germany is pretty high in technology, so this is also a good idea that I'm kind of taking them down. Oh, now Spain's joining against Portugal. That's that's excellent. Uh, that's actually really useful. We need to we need to move fast. Nope, uh, we need to move fast because Spain, I think, is going to do a lot of damage. I I don't know what Portugal has in terms of off the western Iberian coast. They I, I imagine they've got to have somewhat of a military. Uh, they obviously don't have a navy, but they have to have some sort of a military, so I'm guessing it's an army uh, that's maybe protecting Porto and Lisbon. 
It looks like they also maybe their borders go down towards North Africa, just south of Madrid. Uh, that could be a possibility as well. Oh, and it looks like we have the World Congress because this this are, this always happens whenever uh, whenever the World Congress is around, and uh, in a, in a big map like this with 43 sieves, uh, it takes a little bit. So I'm gonna put a cut here. So the World Congress was discovered, uh, so that means that we know everybody in the world now. This is this is excellent. This is really, really, really good news. Uh, so once we kind of get more luxury resources, uh, we will be able to trade them off, I believe, with most of the world. We already had 11 happiness so far, and I did notice that we got a great scientist from Amsterdam. So I don't really know what I want to do with this guy. I think that it's a little bit too late in the game to slap him down, down as a tile improvement. Um, it is turn 228. I think I should try to maybe just rush a technology, probably industrialization. Now, what will this technology really give me? Wow, I mean, first of all, it's going to get me to the industrial era, which I believe gives me another spy. Uh, Big Ben. Factories. Oh, now, factories would be excellent to start to pump out this early. Uh, that would be really good, as well as I could start to upgrade to Gatling guns. Okay, so I think we're going to need to do this. Uh, it's, it's too good of an opportunity to pass up, and it's, it's way out there. And then we do need to rush scientific theory right after this, but let's go industrialization and then and then rush it. How much technology? How much science? It's gonna take off like half the amount of turns. Yeah, so it's gonna go down. Go to, it's gonna go down to eight, but it's gonna push us into, like I said, the industrial era, uh, which is which is a big deal. Why I want to do it. So help us catch up a little bit, a little tiny bit. Ooh, look like the Mayans are doing pretty good, going all up in Central America. Uh, all right, York, so you finished up the work boat. That's excellent. So we probably have another whale resource to trade with somebody. Uh, kind of want to settle Iceland just for the crabs, but uh, they don't have more than... It's only one source of crab. So if there's two, I'd probably definitely do it. Since, they're only, since there's only one, it's kind of it's kind of to, it's tough to uh, justify. Yeah, I don't know. It, it is kind of tougher to justify. Seaport it would be excellent in York because, you know, of the access to the multiple sea resources. Uh, I guess we should do that as well as the extra happiness would be nice. Now I've still been trying to avoid the granary. Uh, we could build a ship of the lion in seven turns, but uh, let's go ahead and go seaport here. That's going to offer production and gold from each sea resource worked by the city. Uh, obviously, that's that is great, and we are working those tiles right. Actually, somebody isn't. Uh, I, I believe that might be Edinburgh. And Ed Edinburgh. Edinburgh. I believe I always fuck I always fuck up this pronunciation here, and I don't know why because I know I, I know the uh, the slang term for it, but I don't know the proper uh, pronunciation. Let's go harbor here because again it, it's four turns, and Berlin is going to take like probably what ten? No, no, not ten. Probably five happiness away. If it's at twenty, it's going to go down to ten. I I think I don't know if my math's correct at all, but let, let's let's go with the harbor. Yeah, yeah let's go with the harbor. Because you already finished the lighthouse, that's really really helpful. You finish the shrines for the uh, for the future adoption of Catholicism in Amsterdam. I know that that will eventually happen. Maybe we should go with a zoo in eight turns. I like that. Let's let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, how much is this going to cost to upgrade? One hundred and fifty. That's not bad at all. Now, how much can I spend to buy one of these? Seven hundred and twenty. We're making 129 gold per turn. That's excellent. I'm going to definitely buy one of these. Uh, and how fast can we pump? This is still technically the same boat. So uh, my capital is going to get it out in... I thought it would upgrade automatically. I thought it would force me to, to, to build the ship of the line, but I guess not, which is actually okay. So you'll build this in two turns, and we'll upgrade it for 150. That's not expensive at all, I'm making that like almost per turn. So we'll have three ship of the lines. I think that'll be enough to take Porto. I'd like four. Um, we should be building maybe one more. Amsterdam can build it quickly. I, I think we should build it in Amsterdam. Although that's, that's far from the front lines. Should it, should it be built really in Amsterdam? Yeah, let's just build it in Amsterdam. That's fine. We'll, we'll start the attack with the three ship lines that we get. Uh, eventually the fourth will come to reinforce. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And again, I'm gonna give them naval promotions just because I'm expecting a pretty big, uh, a heavy backlash from you know ships in the atlantic ocean as we continue to take over cities uh let's go and improve the silk resource and now it's time to take over berlin uh so what do we want let's go ahead and attack with the southern well these are deeper into territory i could get rid of maybe more of this hmm let's do this one first one two 
I could probably... Oh, this is this would take it over. More than likely. Let's give you a general. Well, you had the general bonus anyways, but boom, there's Berlin. We took over a, uh, a great work. We have 240 golds. No culture from it, though. That's okay. So yeah, we're going to create the puppet. We have to create a puppet. And I'm wondering if we acquired any... If we acquired any wonders for taking over Berlin. Uh, View City. Did we did we take over anything? University? No, no wonders. Oh, that's too bad. Too bad Germany wasn't... I don't know. I don't know. I, th I figured they would have something. I guess not. But I'm surprised that my happiness didn't didn't fall further. I guess it's because of maybe the acquisition of dyes. We didn't have dyes beforehand. That's probably it. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and rest. And now we've got to kind of figure out what we're going to want to do with the land troops. Uh, now, luckily, these longbowmen are really well for defense. Really, really uh, good for defense. Because I'm thinking I want to use, you know, you want to use utilize a navy a lot more than anything else. Just because your navy can be, it, it's faster. Uh, ultimately, you know, the navies get the battleships and they're, they're very, very quick out there in the seas. Uh, where land units are always going to take a certain amount of time to get places. Because, you know, if an infrastructure isn't built in the land that you're attacking, then it's just going to suck either way. Um, let's continue to head north. Figure out what's going on up here. I should be trying to peace out with Denmark soon. He's not willing to. Maybe I should attack Denmark. Now, is there an easy way to do it? I could go up on top of these hills. There's one hill source down south. But mm, it, it would be difficult. It, it, it wouldn't be... It definitely wouldn't be easy, especially without a navy. Denmark seems like an easy, you know, an easy target with a navy, but... Oh, I don't know. Now, we peaced out with Poland. Not at war with Austria. Not at war with Venice, either. I mean, I guess I could try to take over France, but I'm not really trying to do that right now. I'm not trying to make everybody mad at me. Okay, you guys heal. And uh, you guys just, just kind of stay there. Good, good, good. You finished the road. That's that's great. Um, we already have... Do we? Are we working this? No, we're not working this. So we can get even more iron than we had before. Um, but do we need to fix any tiles here? I think I already have enough workers in this location. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more iron. Because once we work these final two tiles, then all of the British Isles are, are good. Like, we don't really need to work anything else. Okay, so bam, more whales. And since we just discovered the world, we should be able to trade that off right now. Well, we should trade it now before we take over any more cities and before people get more pissed off at me. Um, what, what was that gonna, what, what is this under? Diplo yeah, diplomatic, diplomacy overview. Alright, so tell me there's gotta be somebody in the world that, there we go. So we've, we could go after truffles, for sure from Darius of Persia. Uh, maybe he's doing pretty good in the Middle East right now, that's what I'm maybe assuming. The Shoshone, we can go after golds. And maybe I should just trade with the Shoshone then. Uh, maybe I should just keep it to the Shoshone. Or I can go after cotton, incense from Aska, he must be doing good in Africa. Those African civs will be really useful, ooh, Shaka. I always you always gotta worry about Shaka. Let's go ahead let's not let's not trade entirely with the Shoshone. I'm worried. I don't know the, I don't know if we should rely entirely on one source for our happiness. But let's let's go to Shaka for now, because he's pretty far away anyways. And we should get on Shaka's good side before he gets too mad at me. So I've got whales and silk to trade with him. We'll give him incense and truffles for whales and silk. Bam. Perfect. Hopefully we stay on his good side. We've got 16 happiness. That's excellent. Uh, this is good. This is really good. We're ready to take over the world. We need to continue to press forward and uh, take more cities out. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.